Hey, this is Lynn of ClickNews.com, and today I wanted to show you these things I just got from Amazon. This one is an inner guide planner, and these are Action Day notepads. And what's so exciting about planners and notepads? I know, I know, I know. But the fact that I actually bought these myself on Amazon is kind of a big deal because I use Evernote. I love Evernote. I use it for everything. I use it for all my planning. I use it for all of my you know, outlines, everything. You can even hook it with Google Calendar with eventnoted.com. So it's evernote.com and eventnoted.com. And those two will work together. It's all free. It syncs across every device you own. So PCs, Macs, tablets, phones, whatever you use, all your information and all your stuff is with you all the time. So why in the world would I go and buy paper <laughs> in a paperless world? These things really appeal to me and I'll show you why. Actually, um, I think it was when I was ordering the planner that I came across the Action Day notepads. And these actually come with pencils. Little rubber bands and pencils, can you see those? Very cool, right? The first one is really simple. And as you know, I've been working on organizing, streamlining, and really getting a smoother workflow going with my business and in my office. So this one is called Today's List, and it's really just a simplified task list notepad. So it's just Today's List by Action Day. I'll show it to you. It has this nice little rubber band here to keep your place. So if you flip the pages back and you want to keep your place, and same with the pencil, so everything kind of stays together, which is really well done. It's basically an action list, so tasks, phone calls, email, paperwork, errands, anything else that you need to do that specific day. And then the bottom of it, this is what I really like, has follow through notes. Check this out. So one thing that I like to do is start every day with three priority tasks. And by simplifying it down to just three things that I want to get done for the day, it really alleviates the whole overwhelm issue and it keeps me super focused. So there are three things that must get done every day plus one money task, unless it's one of the three things. So my golden rule is start every day with a money task and top three priorities. This really kind of simplifies it. Now this gives you 10 things. It's a list of 10 things to do for the day. So if you like to do more than three things or four things in a day, that's great. But I really think that you should keep it simple and keep it to 10 or less. So this notepad is really perfect. Because I'm in the process of reorganizing and restructuring everything, I thought a paper notepad would come in really handy for me, specifically through this process, to just simplify the day. These are the top things that need to be addressed today. Everything else in my overwhelming Evernote land is going to have to wait till I finish getting it reorganized. I especially like the follow through notes. But this one I thought is just a really nice fun desk side notepad to keep me focused through this process of reorganizing. The other one I actually like for a whole nother reason. This one is actually noteworthy. <laughs> and so this is the decisions and actions pad. Now this one is actually designed to plan and execute decisions specifically. So you have a challenge, you create options, then you do your decision making and you create an action plan. And it's all on one small page, just one little page not much bigger than the size of your hand, so it's not overwhelming. This is the reason I actually got the other one, so I just ended up buying them together. But I like this for brainstorming challenges or brainstorming problems and coming up with fast solutions. So basically you put the date at the top and you describe the challenge or you describe the problem in its current situation, its current status, then you list out your options, then you come up with decisions. So the option that best solves my problem is blank and it gives you blank space to write that. Then you turn those decisions into a specific action and it's just a very simplified version of what I currently do in Evernote on a blank page. So basically what I've always taught is that you journal it out because what happens if you have a dilemma or a problem or a challenge, if it's in your head, you process it emotionally which means you get anxiety or you get stressed or you get overwhelmed. But if you put it on paper in front of you or you put it on the screen in front of you, then you deal with it logically. It's a weird mind shift, but it's so simple. So journaling something out or putting it out in front of you, whether it's on the screen or on a notepad, actually gives you the ability to deal with problems and challenges logically and quickly and effectively. The way this is laid out, this Action Day Decisions and Actions Pad, is exactly what I recommend and advise people to do all the time. Hello, Slim. That's my great day, sorry. They have just made it so simple and kind of a fill-in-the-blank process, whereas I you know, have always recommended just do it on a blank page, just get it out of your head, figure out what the problem is, 
come up with the potential solutions, et cetera, et cetera. So for the worst case scenario exercise that I recommend, for example, this is an absolutely brilliant notepad. It takes all the overwhelm out of getting it done, coming up with a solution, coming up with an action plan, and then putting it on your task list and getting it done. I like these two things. Simple, fill in the blank, effective. I like it. So that seems like a lot to say about a notepad, doesn't it? <laughs> I thought so, but I wanted to explain what it was I liked so much about them because we've been discussing them on Facebook. But it's not until you actually see how they work and see how they simplify the process and make it kind of a fill in the blank step by step thing that it's like an aha moment and you're like, you know what, I need one of those notepads. The other thing I got that I'm really, really excited about is the Inner Guide Planner. And this one is a 2015-2016 12-month guide to a fulfilling year. Um, it says it's dedicated to all those committed to cultivating a more fulfilled and purposeful life. That's me. That's definitely me. So it's full of quotes um, and interesting things. It has antidotes for challenging times. It gives you a place to put in your overall vision for your desired life. Um, what your challenges are, your plan to overcome those challenges, a list of who your support team is. My support team consists of the following people, my long-term five-year goals, my main inner and outer goals for this year. Um, there's just, just tons and tons of stuff in here. You have a, a yearly goal chart. But what I wanted to really show you was kind of the day-to-day -day stuff. And I haven't used a planner or a calendar in a really long time. So let me go back here. You have a looking ahead section. You can actually check all this out. I'll give you the link to it on Amazon. Um, you have the whole year calendar. You have the looking ahead for the whole month ahead. Uh, your top personal goals, top professional goals. So it's not just a planner specifically for business, but it's basically an overall life planner. That's really important to me because I work from home and because I am a blogger. So basically I monetize my life for a living. So my lifestyle and my business are really intertwined and they really go hand in hand. So for me personally, having a planner that encompasses all of those things. So for example, one of my goals this year is to get in amazing shape, which actually is in line with things I'm talking about on one of my blogs, on my low carb blog at travelinglowcarb.com. And then of course I have business goals, as you know, I'm working on my workflow and, and streamlining and things like that and actually am working on that across the board. So while I'm just really blogging about the home office and business aspect of it, I'm also in the process of reorganizing a lot of the other areas of my house. So it all really goes hand in hand for me. So that, that's why this planner really appealed to me. You get to choose your priorities for the month. And the interesting thing about the way they outline these priorities is that it's very much in line with the five criteria for an overall sense of well-being. Well-being being the better word for happiness, because happy is a, it's a weird word. It's a fickle word. Everybody wants to be happy, but there are five main things that go into having a sense of well-being. And if you don't really have all five bases covered, which I did a test a few years ago and realized I was tanking in three and excelling in two, no wonder I felt so lopsided, right? <laughs> So it, it really is in line with all the things I studied about happiness. And while you may think it's weird to do a happiness study, it's a word that gets thrown around a lot. Just be happy. Just decide to be happy. Blah, blah, blah. So it's one of those really uh, simple words with lots of loaded meaning. So I actually did an in-depth happiness study on what the word means, on what it takes to be happy, on what the areas of life are that you need to focus on in order to become happy, and strategically set out to do those things. And as I'm saying that, I'm realizing I might just be kind of a type A OCD type person. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. All right, so let me show you the actual weekly planner part of the overall um, inner guide planner here. It gives you uh, your high goals, your medium goals, tasks and errands for the week, but it also talks about being present, um, gives you a spot for reflections, ideas, and self-assessment. It asks you what did you do this week to express your love and appreciation, which is cool. And it gives you a gratitude spot, which I think is really cool because a gratitude journal is also something that I've been keeping in Evernote. 
and um, I tend to get a little lengthy with mine, but this just gives you three lines. Uh, this week I'm grateful for, and it gives you three lines. So it's short, it's punchy, it's effective, it covers all the bases for uh, personal fulfillment and for moving your life forward in the direction you really want it to go. But it's also not complicated. It's, again, like the notepads, it's just very fill in the blank, very simple. It has a spot for everything, your goals, your tasks, your errands. It has all the way from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day of the week for you to fill out, you know, the things that you want to do, how you want to get done, what's on your schedule, etc. This particular planner is really about increasing your self-awareness. That's what it's really about. It's really about being more mindful, not just of how you spend your time, but just being more mindful of yourself. I think this is really important in order to have a fulfilling life because if you don't intentionally decide, this is what I want to do to have a fulfilling life, then really your life is just going to be full of dinner and ball practice and laundry and mopping the floors and all those other mundane things that happen between the fun stuff. And every once in a while you'll have drinks with friends or have a good laugh or do something fun or whatever. But if you really, really want to have personal fulfillment and something extraordinary out of life, then it starts with self-awareness. It, it starts with figuring out where you are right now and figuring out where you want to be tomorrow, next week, next year, five years from now. And doing the steps, putting one foot in front of the other one day at a time, one task at a time, one goal at a time, until you are living the life you want to live, until you're experiencing that personal fulfillment. But it all starts with being mindful of the now, of being present, and getting the things done today that need to be done in order to move closer to where you want to be tomorrow or next year. Maybe you don't want to plan your life out to that extent. In that case, I recommend that you get a very simple to-do list. <laughs> I like this. I like the level of self-awareness. I like that it kind of brings you into the day. I like that it brings you into focusing on um, your own personal well-being, which as you know, if you're not doing good across the board, then you're not able to do good for other people. I like that it really keeps you focused and grounded on points of gratitude. It keeps your goals right in front of you along with your tasks and your calendar so it's not in two separate places. And it just really kind of brings it all together for me in one place as far as that uh, mindful self-awareness of what you're doing, and more importantly, why you're doing it. So again, this is the Inner Guide Planner, and they have lots of different ones. I got a purple one. They have lots of different types of planners on Amazon. I'll give you the link to this one, but then you can check out the related links and find one that you may like better. Again, this one is a 12-month guide to a fulfilling year. I love it. I especially like all the quotes. They put a lot of work into this. They've really kind of given you one place for you to document all of your goals for a 12-month period. And really, I mean, what can you not accomplish in a, in a year, in a short year, in 12 short months, when you really put your mind to it, when you really put your pen to it.